So let's just say you're on a low end PC and it's just not running smoothly as you hoped. Even after you did your little tweaking and you're wishing you could just squeeze more FPS out of your system, then watch this video till the end to learn just that. So I'll be giving 5 tips to get a better performance when playing FPS Legends on a low end PC. Of course this can benefit players on a high end PC as well, so you guys can also watch this video to learn some tricks. So the first tip is reducing your resolution. So after you loaded the game, click on settings, then head to the video tab where you'll find resolution. Now if this value is set to 1920 by 1080, you need to reduce this to something lower. But just don't go below 1600 by 900 or 1440 by 900 because below this point textures and enemies are so pixelated you can't see anything. So reducing this value and you will already have a massive boost in FPS. The second tip not much people talk about is the feel of view. Now of course having a high FOV gives you a competitive advantage but that concept is too overrated. Legendary Shiv FPS plays a 95. He solo queues to master every season and I think he also did solo queue to bread once. So you don't have to have a high FOV to be good. So make sure this value is set to 90. I wouldn't recommend going any lower than this but 84 is also doable. So the third tip is tweaking your video config file. So the first thing you want to do is hit your start button. Search for saved games, double click respawn, double click apex, then local. And in here you'll find your video config.txt file. So just double click to open. So in here we will find, we'll be changing some stuff. Now you're going to look for setting streamer memory and set this value to zero. This will give the lowest textures in game, hence boosting your FPS. Then right below that you have setting that matte peak me. Now I've been watching a lot of tweaking videos but none of them really talk about this setting right here. Now what this is, it controls the quality of textures in game and it goes from 0 to 4. 0 the highest, 4 the lowest. Now if you want, if you want the maximum FPS, you can set this to 4. But some people, they say setting this to 2 is actually the smoothest. But I've been playing with this for a while and for me setting this to 0 was the smoothest. So my best advice would be try setting this value to 4 first, play with it for a while, then try using 2. At the end of the day, it comes down to how low end your hardware is to see which one of these were best for you. So just keep playtesting. Now, the next thing you want to look out for is setting CSM enable and setting CSM cascade res. Now, you want to change these values to zero. The CSM enable turns off all shadows in game and cascade red is the quality of the shadow. So if there's no shadow, we have no reason to keep on the quality. Now, you want to save this and close it. Then right click video config.txt properties then select read only and apply then ok. This will prevent APS legend to restore the data you've changed to their default values every time you run the game. So the fourth tip is copying your FPS. Now there's three ways you can copy your FPS. You can copy F FPS using RTSS which stands for Riva Tuna Statistics Server. You can also use the NVIDIA control panel for NVIDIA GPU users and Steam launch options. Now, I'd love to show you guys how you can copy your FPS using these, but there are thousands of tutorials on YouTube that can show you how to, so you can check them up yourself. So I'm wholly showing you how to use Steam launch options to copy your FPS in this video. But if you want to know which one I use, I cut my FPS using NVIDIA control panel. So first, you want to open Steam, go into the library and locate APS Legends. Right click it, select properties. Then in the general section, you're going to see launch options. Now here you want to type plus FPX max and the amount you want to copy your FPS to. Now before we type this in, there's a little trick I always do to get a rough estimate of how much I should cut my FPS to. So what you do is open FPS legends, head into settings and under gameplay, make sure performance display is on. This will show your current FPS in game, then load up into firing range, go to the second platform and hold onto the ledge like this in front of the purple armor and make sure your ultimate logo 
is lined up with the bottom of the purple armor. Now you want to look at your performance display to see how low your FPS drops to, then cap it there. Now you want to head back into Steam and enter plus FPX max and set it to whatever your lowest FPS was. This will give you guaranteed lower latency and better performance. So the fifth tip is to change your power plan. So what you want to do is click start, type control panel, click system and security, scroll down until you find power options and select high performance or ultimate performance if you have those options available to you. And that's it, five tips to boost your performance and FPS on a lower end PC that want to run Apex Legends more smoothly. Really hope this guide helped you guys out.